Hello everyone, today I'm continuing from the last video where I showed a simplified version of how to do a chart with broken axes and bars. So uh, I'm going to show you a more com complex version th uh, this time. Uh, the only difference is actually, remember for the last video, we actually overwrite the axis with text bar uh, text boxes uh, what if we don't want to override with text box boxes what if we want um, the actual um, numbers for the axis so this is a method uh, I'm gonna show you today um, actually um, the first uh, few steps are exactly the same as the last one so um, we we only start from here. So um, you can watch the previous video for the first six minutes uh, to get to this chart. So basically you have the the bars that you want, you have the right label, uh, and uh, you have the shape that can help you to do the broken top part. The only part that you need to uh, change is the Y axis. So let me show you how to uh, make this um, customized axis, broken axis. So um, before you do that, you need to create a few um, columns to help you to create uh, create a uh, right axis. So let's name the first one the new x axis. The next one is new y axis. And then the third one is the new y axis label. Okay, so for each of them, uh, the first one, the new um, X, it should always be zero. Uh, the Y, uh, the new Y um, should actually be the same as what you are seeing here. Um, because we do want the same grid line, we do want the same gap in between. So you just copy the numbers as you see in the chart. So 50, 100, and actually from there you can just do an autofill until 350. So 350 is your max here. Um, and then for X, you just do the same, um, but just copy copy down to zero for all of them. Um, and then for the Y X label, this is actually what you really wanted to show, which is uh, 0, 050, 100, 150, 200, 1000, 2000. So this is what you really want to show. So actually we know the first couple are the same and then this one you overwrite to whatever you want to show, 1000, 1500 and then 2000. Okay, so now um, they are all built. So let's come back to this chart. So click anywhere in the chart when it's selected uh, and then go right click to select data. Um, and then in here, go add a uh, series name. You can just name whatever, but then just for the sake of our purpose, just say uh, Y axis and then series value. This is where you put the Y value, which is uh, this one that we just put in here. So just put it here. It's going to show like bars. No worry. Just go OK and then go OK and then select the bar. Well, actually, you don't have to select it. Uh, go to design, change chart type, and then you're going to see here it's showing. If it's not showing combo chart, go go down, select the combo chart. And then for the Y axis that you just named, change it to scatter, scatter chart, and then select the secondary access uh, ticket, go OK. So now you're going to see a couple of dots here. Um, and uh, actually, instead of having it showing here as a line, we want it to be showing as a vertical line. So in order to do that, select the data series, um, go uh, go to select data again, go wax, uh, Y axis, add it. So because we have selected to be scatter types, now we need to fill in the series Y value, which is a uh, series X value, which is what we have pre-populated here. You go OK and then go OK. So actually, after you did that, you are not seeing uh, the dots here, uh, which is fine. Um, what you do now is actually go back to uh, the format, go series Y axis. 
um, that's when you select the serial, even that you don't see it on the chart, and then go format selection. You can see it's plotted a series on secondary axis. You know what? Change it to primary axis. That's how it's going to show up in your chart. So now it's looking like this. Um, and um, actually, you know what? So now actually after we did all those, our original um, uh Y axis has automatically changed from zero to 400. It was original 350. You know what? We don't want that. We still want to keep it at 350. So one thing you do now is select your axis, the original one. Um, you can either go format access or um, you go to format, format selection, and then it's going to show you the access option. And here for the 400, change it back to 350. So now what you really want is for all your dots, make sure they are aligned to all your grid line. So now, um, now they are aligned. And then what you need to do is actually select them um, and then go format data theory. Um, uh, no, actually add data label. And then you can see it's actually showing the label there. And then you know, I actually go to select all the label, uh, label there, uh, and then go for again format selection. Um, you know what? We actually want it to be on the left so that we pretended that it is the actual y axis. So we go left um, like that. And then, you know, what we really want is actually not this label we actually wanted to show the label as it is here so you still have it selected but then go here select label contains y uh, value from cell select the new access label go okay uh, and then deselect the y value or show line and then this is the number that we want it to be Okay, so now we have the real, uh, well, like the y-axis that we want. Then we can go back to select the original y-axis and then simply delete it. So now we have the uh, we have the uh, the axis that we want. But now we still need to clean up the chart a little bit. So um, actually, we don't. So now we have got the label right. We don't want the dots anymore. So select them. Um, and then go to marker, make sure it has no fill and make sure it has no line so that you know what, you don't even see them. But you know what, you can see that like our label is still across the grid line and we don't want that to happen. So in order to fix this, go to select your ax, um, axis and then go format selection. And then in here, on here, the access option, you're going to see access position. It's going to be between tick marks. You know what? Change it to on tick mark. Okay. So now you can see that it's actually now aligned properly with our grid line. So, and then the label actually looks like the Y axis, but there's still one issue here. So you see, like we have the bars right here, right here. But then you know what our last bar looks like it's thinner it's like look like it's cutting off and the reason is that we move the uh, x axis axis label to the right right so how do we fix that so in order to do that actually select all your data select um, which means that select all your bars and then go select data and then siri one add it and then you can see actually it is showing that this is the data range. You know what? Just select all of them, but then with one more row. Um, okay, so it's not showing it right because I was uh, over selecting it. So select, make sure it's blank out and then select it all. Select the, all, the data range and then one more row and then go OK. Here we go. So now you have um, all the bars properly aligned and then you have the label as what you want. And then the next step is really just adding the broke, broke shape to wherever you want it and then change the format to whatever you feel comfortable. 
And then here it goes. So now you have the chart with broken access and bars. And then the ba the better thing about this option is that you can actually change your access to whatever you want. Um, and then the label's gonna change accordingly. Okay, so that's all that I wanna share with you today. I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.